There are many examples of intercession in scripture. I'll pick three to help us understand that intercession is a powerful ministry. Number one, let's go to the patriarch, Abraham. The Bible says, look unto Abraham your father and to Sarah that body. So we are looking up to him to study. In Genesis chapter 18, please give us from verse 16. Remember the visitation of the three angels that came to Abraham, having served them. The Bible says, and the men arose. Long reading, be patient. They arose up from tents and looked towards Sodom. And Abraham went with them to bring them on the way. Uh -huh. Very quickly, please. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? Seeing that Abraham shall surely be a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. For I know him, that he will command his children and his household after him, that they shall keep the way of the Lord, to do justice and judgment, that the Lord might bring upon Abraham that which he had spoken. 20. And the Lord said, listen carefully now, because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now, and see whether they have done all together according to the cry of it. Which is come unto me. And if not, I will know. And the men turned their faces from tents. And went towards Sodom. But Abraham stood yet before the Lord. And Abraham drew near and said, Will thou also destroy the righteous and the wicked? This is the character of an intercessor. Please go to 23. Are you seeing here that whether Sodom is destroyed or not, it was none of his business. But he reached out to say, look, I, I do not mean to dishonor you. But are you also going to destroy the righteous and the wicked? Next verse. Per adventure, there be 50 righteous within that city. Will thou also destroy and not spare the place for fifty righteous that are therein? That be that be far from thee to do after this manner to slay the righteous with the wicked, and that the righteous should not be as the wicked. That be far from thee shall not the judge of all the earth do right. Look at look at look at look at him engaging intelligence in intercession. And the Lord said, if I find in Sodom 50 righteous within that city, what a city. Then I will spare all the place for their sake. And Abraham answered and said, behold now, I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord, which I am but dust and ashes. 28. Per adventure, there shall lack five of the 50 righteous will thou destroy the city for lack of five and he said if i find 40 and five i will not destroy it 29 and he spake unto him yet again and said per adventure there shall be 40 found there and he said i will not do it for 40's sake abraham is it not enough watch an intercessor and he said unto him, Oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak. Peradventure, there shall thirty be found there. And he said, I will not do it if I find thirty there. And he said, Behold now, I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord. Peradventure, there shall be twenty found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for twenty's sake. You are even tired already. You that is reading the story. You see how you are weary and tired. I say, what are you? Abraham. Are we together? And he said, oh, let not the Lord be angry. And I will speak yet but this once. Peradventure 10 shall be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for the sake of 10. I will not destroy it for the sake of ten. 
Abraham was safe. Abraham was fine. Listen to the commendation that God said about Abraham. That as far as you and your children are, I know you will teach them right. Yet, Abraham, hold on here. We want to go and visit a territory. And he said, please, I know that it's not my concern. But intercession has made it my concern. Will you destroy the righteous and the wicked? Example number two, Jesus. Jesus, the intercessor. Luke chapter 22 from verse 31. Luke 22 from verse 31. Remember the story of Simon and Satan coming into him? And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan had desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee. I didn't pray for myself. That means Satan would have prevailed because the spiritual intelligence to immune yourself from his effect, you do not yet have it. But I bridge that gap in prayer that thy faith fail not. And when you are converted, use this strategy of intercession to also secure your brethren that while they are still learning the ways of God, Satan will not have advantage of them. That means when you are converted, become an intercessor and the people you train, train them to also become intercessors John 17 look at the ministry of intercession verse 1 Jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven watch Jesus intercede now father the hour is come glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee uh huh as thou hast given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him three this is eternal life that they might know thee the only true god and jesus christ whom thou hast sent he says i have glorified thee in the earth i have finished the work which thou gavest me to do five now O father glorify me with thy own self and with the glory that i had with thee from before the world was uh-huh I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me and they have kept your word verse 7 now they have known all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee verse 8 for i have given unto them the words which thou gavest me and they have received them and have known surely that i came out from thee and they have believed that thou didst send me verse 9 i pray for them i pray for them jesus the intercessor i pray for them i pray not for the world but for them which thou hast given me for they are thine verse 10 he says all and all mine are thine and thine is mine and i am glorified in them watch the prayer of jesus now and now i am no more in the world but these are in the world and i come to thee holy father and he says keep through thy own name those that thou hast given me that they may be one as we are this is why i know the oneness of the body of christ must come to pass because the person who prayed that prayer request was jesus himself regardless the differences you see now there is something called the unity of faith are we together hmm. romans chapter 8 and verse 34 for sake of time we are looking at Jesus the intercessor. Romans 8.34 Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God. Who also makes intercession for us. That even after he resurrected, after his coronation, crowning him Lord, he still today makes intercession for the saints third example of intercession in scripture the early church acts chapter 12 
I hope you know that the condition for anything to be a doctrine, there is, theologically speaking now, anything is a doctrine. If and when it was adumbrated in the Old Testament, condition number one, it was captured in the life and the experience of Jesus, number two, and it was practiced in the early church, number three. Any truth and any mystery that does not satisfy that threefold condition cannot be called a doctrine. It must be adumbrated, foreshadowed in the Old Testament. It must be captured in the life, the earth work of Jesus. And it must have been practiced by the early church. Are we together? Acts chapter 12. Let's start our reading from verse 1. Now about the time Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church too. And he killed James the brother of John with the sword. And because he saw it that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further. Are you seeing what happens when we don't pray? Notice that the spirit of the Antichrist was the one walking through Herod. He, there were three people who were with Jesus at the Mount of Transfiguration. I hope you know there were different classification of the disciples. Is that true? There was the 72. There was the 12. There was the 3. And then there was John the Beloved. All of them had different experiences. There was something the 12 had that the 72 did not have. There was something the 3 saw that the remaining 12 did not see. Satan knowing this, began to handpick those he will destroy peter james and john remember the pillars he destroyed james they beheaded james historically speaking and he saw that it pleased the people and he went straight to peter if he was done with peter he would have destroyed john there was something now you read the gospel and you find out read the writings of these three people james peter John, aside from the Pauline epistles, you read their exegesis on, 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 on the truth of God's word. There were mysteries that were given to them. And Satan knowing this, the spirit of the Antichrist were coming here. The spirits that move across territories. Herod just thought he was being political because it pleased them. He wanted to kill them so that the people would like him. But he did not know he was under the influence over that territory. The Bible says, and because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further. Say, no way. Shout it. Say, no way. No way. Evil will always proceed further when there are no intercessors. Let me tell you this. Satan will come to a family and test something and watch the reaction. If all that he sees is just discussion and carnal analysis, he will proceed further. I tell you, Satan has the ability to proceed further if unhindered. Look at this. He proceeded further to take Peter also. He tested your finances and you kept quiet. You just assumed nothing was wrong. Your health is coming. I assure you, whatever Satan touches in your life and around your environment is not the only thing he wants. He wants everything. But he will touch something first and watch the reaction. If he finds out you are lukewarm and cold and careless and it does not matter, Everybody in the family just became sick overnight. I'm sure it's just the weather. He's coming again. He will proceed further. The Bible says, Then were the days of unleavened bread. Verse 4. And when he had apprehended him, Peter now, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending that after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter would have died. Peter was kept in the prison. Help me read believers. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. That means everything Satan planned would have happened. But a midwife came in. A prophetic midwife. Parasuda Pakata. This night a grace is coming on someone that listen based on the architecture of satan 
already is like a spiritual room. They have plotted your family already. They have plotted everything. And he signed already. Time for execution. But they did not factor you in that plan.